Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. Gentlemen, welcome to Pop Turnative. Thank you so much for your time. Yeah, of course. Happy to be here. Yeah. Thanks for that. The villain's poster in the background. Man, I love that movie. <laughs> We're here talking about oh, significant thanks. other. <laughs> this is a question for both of you. Dan, we'll start with you. And Robert, you can kind of uh, add on afterwards. There's a lot that goes into putting together a film. There's the preliminary talks. Then you get the final product. There's a lot that happens. What are those early kind of conversations when you're kind of starting the scripts a little bit with significant other that you're having together? I'm curious about that. Yeah, sure. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I mean, this movie the, from the conception stage started kind of from a place of, um, say, like logistical necessity. You know, it was in the middle of the lockdown in 2020 and uh, we weren't really sure what the future of the film industry held or the future of anything for that matter. And, uh, you know, we basically just said to ourselves, can we conceive like the ultimate COVID friendly movie, you know, 100 percent outdoors, two actors. And so that's kind of like where the, the kernel started. And we just built the narrative from there. And we had worked with Micah on villains and loved that experience and become had become close friends with her since then. And so we, the other thing we knew, I mean, we hadn't told her this yet, but we, we knew we were writing the role for her. And thankfully when we finished the script, she liked it and wanted to do it. <laughs> but we knew we wanted, we knew we like, you know, had the outdoors, the two actors and Micah Monroe as our lead. So then we were just like, all right, let's start there and see where the story goes. Absolutely. Rob, do you want to add to that a little bit or? Yeah, no, I mean, I think like it, there was, we had, we were going to make it for, you know, no money. Like we had a little experience doing that. We made our first movie body for 50 grand. And so, you know, we were like, all right, let's do this for 200 grand or something. Just try to go find a bunch of dentists to fund it or something. We'll figure it out. And when we finished the script, you know, we wound up kind of weaving this whole story that we never even really intended to and i think the themes started to really blossom and stuff like that and our our reps you know suggested that we try to do the bigger version of it and so thank yeah. goodness we did dan is there pressure working in the horror thriller genre knowing there's always so many eyeballs on it and some of the best movies coming out these days are in those genres and if you agree there's pressure do you thrive under that pressure to make the best movie possible uh yeah certainly i mean listen the, the like the genre debate especially when you wade into these waters of like being horror adjacent um it's a challenging thing because like we don't talk about significant other like it's a horror you know like we say it's a sci-fi thriller but because there's little moments of some a couple scares and yeah. certainly moments of, of omin ominous tension and whatnot you know, it it is everyone just pushes it into that horror box. And then you're up against something like Smile, where it's like, well, that's a scarier movie. <laughs> There's no question, but that's because it's designed differently. And when we experience this with villains, even like there's like two scares in villains and people called it like a, a horror with comedic elements. And it's like, no, no, no. Yeah. It's a, See, I would feel like I would see because i'm i'm like the whole thing there's more ways to scare people and people are scary so sure, sure. there's way than more than villains yeah, it's, like a, it, it's a it's a it's a totally like fun and acceptable debate it does get a little bit like harder though sometimes when, especially when you're talking about marketing the film where like yeah, the marketing department no, like, absolutely yeah, yeah like harder sell tick tickets how you harder to get butts in couches or whatever um or your sci-fi thriller is a little bit less so so it's just always walking that fine line but, but I think in terms of like whether or not that is, you know, uh, a, a source of pressure, I actually think it's not. I, it would be because there's a built in audience for how, if you know you're making a genre movie, whether it's a thriller or a horror or whatever, there is way more of a built in audience for that where, you know, people are. And, and I think the, the kinds of audiences are a little bit more like forgiving. I would be way more scared to go out there and make like a straight drama and just because like what happens if you make like the shitty version of still Alice like nobody's gonna see it you know what I mean whereas like you can make a horror movie that isn't that great and people are still gonna see it and have fun like as long as it's fun. Fun. Exactly. oh exactly. absolutely and I, I can't wait for people to see significant other dropping exclusively on Paramount plus October 7th because it's amazing we kept this spoiler three I just want people <laughs> yeah. to see it gotcha. <laughs> gentlemen Dan Robert thank you so much for your time it was so great chatting with you thank you Beanie. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. 
Be sure to like Poptternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.